Have you ever wondered what happened to Audio Barn? For many, the name sparks memories of flashy chrome grills, flame designs, and bass that shook neighborhoods. But what happened behind the scenes? In the late 90s and early 2000s, Audio Barn dominated car audio. Their affordable, visually distinctive products were favorites among enthusiasts. But trouble was brewing. Overproduction led to warehouses full of unsold inventory. Product quality slipped, with reports of glue failures, overheating amps, and unreliable components. Lawsuits piled up and market share declined. In 2017, Audio Barn filed for bankruptcy, unable to meet tax obligations. But the most shocking chapter came in 2019, when the company's president was implicated in a massive drug smuggling operation. Australian authorities seized 1.7 tonnes of meth hidden in Audio Barn labelled containers. This $1.3 billion bust led to arrests and further tarnished the brand's legacy. Audio Barn's story is one of rapid rise and disappointing fall, but for many, the memories of its prime still resonate.